Ayn Rand is perhaps the most influential symbol of the greed is good philosophy, or okay, not just greed, but rather, let's say, self-interest in general. Her philosophy, objectivism, primarily revolves around achieving happiness through rational individualism, with core beliefs such as one, objective reality, or in other words, that reality is what it is with no room for subjectivity. Two, self-interest is being logically and morally superior to altruism. Three, free market, or if you will, laissez-faire capitalism being the best political choice. Through her fiction books such as The Fountainhead or Atlas Shrugged, but also her non-fiction work, she pretty much rejects the idea of altruism and instead tries to get the message across that if everyone acts in a self-interested manner, society will be better off. In her view, things like hatred and crime do exist, but it's ultimately the best choice for rational, self-interested individuals not to act in that manner. Instead, it's in everyone's best interest to generate win-win situations as economic actors by working hard when selling your time, offering quality products or services, and so on. She asserts that in the end, individuals looking out for their best interests behave in a way which makes society as a whole better off. Rand's views are very popular among libertarians, but also among some mainstream conservatives, civil liberty enthusiasts, and so on. Critics, however, point out that one, self-interest sometimes goes against human nature. From anthropologists to even thinkers like Adam Smith, who are ideologically close to Rand, lots of people point out that we derive at least some happiness from looking after others. Two, humans aren't robots, so perhaps expecting us to behave 100% rationally isn't the best idea in the world. Three, Rand sometimes offers overly simplistic black or white solutions to the world's most complex problems. Four, although she's an atheist, her philosophy tends to exhibit cult-like particularities such as claiming to be the holder of objective truth. All in all, while some of Rand's views are definitely worth debating, it would be a huge mistake to surround her with an aura of infallibility.